Cartoon recaps here. Today I will be recapping the movie called, The Resident Evil, Vendetta. Spoilers ahead, relax and enjoy. The movie begins with a man called, Leon. He enters a room full of dead bodies and during his investigation, one of the corpses suddenly started to move. But quickly, Leon is able to fire a shot at it. Inside a moving chopper, there are a group of soldiers who are going on a mission, and the person leading them is a man called, Chris. He informs his team about their mission to capture a very dangerous killer called Glenn, who is creating bioweapons that is going to kill a whole lot of people. And secondly they must find a mother and son who has been missing for days. Chris and his team then infiltrated a mysterious mansion to search for their mission undercover source. Everything seemed to be normal, but Chris then decides to divide the team into three group. The first group at the upper floor comes across a boy stained with blood, and as they go to check, it turns out the boy is affected with the deadly virus, who devours them. Chris hears their screaming sound of his men and hurries with the rest to check. Suddenly the zombies grabs one of his men, and as Chris quickly starts to shoot at them, it turns out there is more. Even his soldiers has already been affected with the virus. Every of his soldiers are ambushed by the zombies one by one but luckily for Chris, he is able to throw himself out of the window, making his escape. Suddenly he encounters Glenn, who is the mastermind of the virus outbreak. They both of them get into a fight, but it turns out that Glenn is more of a skillful than expected. He beats up the professional soldier as if he was nothing. Glenn brings out the woman that has been missing for days, and shows her to Chris, revealing about his experiment of turning people into zombies, and having control over the world. He then leaves him to be killed by the zombies, but a chopper comes to his rescue, and then kills all the zombies surrounding him. A flashback is seen, when Glenn was a happy man, and is getting married but unfortunately, a rocket is fired by the government, that destroyed the whole wedding party. As a result of this, all the attendants including his wife lost their lives. Glenn was the only person that survived, and he swore that he will have his revenge on the government. Four months later, a scientist called Dr. Rebecca, and her lab tech is at the laboratory making researches on the cause of those deadly virus spreading around the city. She studies the virus carefully and she's successful able to discover the cause of the virus. A mysterious girl later infuriated the lab, and killed her lab tech. She then spreads the virus in form of a gas, which started to turn all the laboratory workers in zombies. Dr. Rebecca is aware of this, and quickly injects her body with the antidote to prevent herself from contaminating the virus. As the lab workers who are now turned into zombies are about to attack her, Chris and his team comes to her rescue. It turns out Chris and Rebecca were closest friends, and Chris explains to her the person-person behind the virus outbreak, called Glenn who is transforming in the world into zombies as a revenge on what the government did to his family. They both realize then won't be able to stop Glenn on their own, they then pay a visit to an expert called, Leon. As Chris asks for his help, Leon seems to have given up on saving the world from the virus outbreak after his last failed mission. He explains to them that on his last mission, one of his teammates betrayed them, and there was an explosion that occurred, which killed all his men in the process. During their conversation that same teammate that betrayed Leon and his team apprehended them. Leon threatens him to confess all he knows about Glenn. And as is about to force the answers out of him, Glenn men arrives at the bar they were, and started to fire shots at them. In the process, Leon former teammate is killed. During the incident, Rebecca is captured by Glenn men, and before they could do anything, they are long gone. Rebecca wakes up from unconsciousness, only to find herself in a wedding dress. Glenn tells Rebecca that she looks exactly like his wife and therefore he wishes to marry her. As he picks a ring from his dead wife and tries to force it in Rebecca's finger, she resisted, which resulted to a punch on her face. On the other hand, Chris and Leon later accessed Rebecca's laptop. They see all the researches Rebecca has been making and how to put an end to the deadly virus. They are also aware of Glenn next movie on spraying the virus in form of a poisonous gas, which is going to turn the entire civilization into zombies. Later on, Glenn sent few containers to the city containing the virus gas. As they are released, it affects all the people in the city and in a gradual process, they are started to turn into zombies. Immediately Chris takes his team including Leon on a mission to destroy those containers. As they got there one of Chris' men then suddenly gets attacked by an affected dog. In other for their mission to go as planned, Leon decides lure the dogs away with his bike, so that Chris can have the chance to destroy the containers. These zombies dogs are really fast that even his bike aren't able to outrun them. With strategy, Leon is able to kill the two dogs chasing after him. On the other hand, Glenn ejects the virus inside the body of Rebecca since she doesn't want to be his wife. 
Glenn believes that if the virus spread through her body in 20 minutes, she will be transformed into a zombie, and will do anything he pleases. Chris immediately goes to Glenn's basement to rescue Rebecca and as Glenn sees him from the camera, he releases a huge pack of zombies to go after him. Chris with his awesome skills, he able to kill as many zombies as possible and Leon also arrives in time to assist. Leon tells Chris to find Rebecca while he handles the zombies. As Chris enters the lap where Rebecca is held, he sees the helpless Rebecca fighting over the virus that is already taking control over her body. As he is about to free her, a gigantic zombie monster approaches him, and almost killed him until he releases a grenade, that burned the zombie monster alive. As he is taking Rebecca out of the building, Glenn stops them. He keeps Rebecca at a safe spot and goes to fight Glenn. They both started to fire bullets in each other. The fight becomes so tensed, as they keep dodging the opposing bullets. After a long fight, Chris gets subdued by Glenn and as he is about to be killed, Chris strategically pushes him off the building, and he died. The huge giant monster later sees him, and combines Glenn's dead body to his body, which brings Glenn back to life, but as an ugly mutant. As Chris is taking Rebecca to the lab to cure the virus infection in her, Glenn as a monster attacks them. As he is about to squeeze Chris to death, Leon arrives with a bike and stops the monster from hurting Chris. After a long epic fight with the monster, Leon is defeated and as he is about to be killed, a chopper comes to his rescue. The chopper throws bombs at the monster. Out of anger, the monster attacks the chopper and Leon then uses the opportunity to place a bomb on his bike, and throws at the monster, and then shoots a gun that causes an explosion making the monster to fall off the building to its death. On the other hand Chris finally discovers the room, where the cure for the virus are kept. He quickly take one to Rebecca and she is cured with the antidote. The crew also releases the cure in form of gas, which is sprayed throughout the city, to turn those infected citizens back to normal. Thank you for watching guys. If you love animation movies, please subscribe to this channel. And keep watching. Bye.